So, do you think we have always lived in this beautiful and expensive house? Yes, of course. Well, as far as I remember, we have always lived here. <laughs> Then you need to hear this story. Pay attention. I want to talk to you about a very sad event in my life. Something that I could never forget. Never. It's hard for me to tell this story, but I'm sure you must know it. It happened many years ago. I had told you before that my parents got divorced when I was only a child. I was 10 years old. The separation of my parents affected me a lot, but not in the way you think. I mean, I was not sad because my parents got divorced. They had been fighting too much, and I had to see that every day. My siblings and I had to watch them fight all the time. It was horrible. That's why when they decided to get divorced, I was not sad. But what really affected me was the fact that my brothers... And my sister and I had to separate. Two of us could go with my father, and the other two with my mom. I was very close to them. We grew up together. We always played together and also cried together when my parents fought. I was happy being with them. That's why it affected me a lot when we went apart. Anyway, my father stayed in my house with my sister and my younger brother. And my older brother and I went with my mom to live to a different place. We rented a room in one of my mom's friend. But we didn't have much money. I remember my mom used to pay $50 a month for that room. It was more like a favor, I think, because the owner of the house was one of her best friends. Soon, we had to move to a different place because that house was too small for the three of us. We were growing up and we needed a room for me and my brother. So, we moved to another house. This time, it was bigger. But we could only stay there for a year, because after that, the house was going to be sold. We lived there for a year, and then we could take a piece of a land near there. Many poor people used to do that. It was a group of poor people living in that place. It was like a mountain. There, we had to sleep on the floor at first because we didn't have a bed or furniture. We were really poor, remember. We had to live there in a very small place with four walls, without a bed or furniture. We didn't even have a kitchen or a stove, so we had to buy food from a place which sold food at a low price. I remember it cost one dollar, soup, main dish, and fruit. It was not delicious, but at least we could eat something. We had to go there every day, on time, otherwise they would leave us without food. Anyway, we had many shortcomings, but we were happy. I mean, I had my brother by my side and I used to visit my other siblings every week. It was not the same, but at least we could play together sometimes. While we were living in that mountain, my brother and I made a lot of friends. 
We used to play together all the time, every day. My mom used to get mad at us because we stayed out playing until night. But we were happy anyway. Soon the site directive, I mean, the people who were like the presidents of the town where we were living, had to make an inspection. They had to check some things. They had some rules that we had to abide by if we wanted to live there. The main rule was that if you wanted to live there, you wouldn't have to have another house or your own house. You get it. My mom didn't have her own house. The other house where we used to live was my father's and he stayed there. He was living there. So I thought, now nah, we are not going to have any problem, right? So we did not care about that matter. My mom used to sell medicinal herbs, natural things, to heal people or help them with some sicknesses. She used to work in the market, a little far from our house. We had to help her every day. I remember we used to wake up very early every day. We woke up at four in the morning because we had to go with her to buy some products to sell. Four in the morning? <laughs> So we used to take turns, I mean, my brother and me. One day my brother, and the next day I was in church of going with my mom to buy those things. It was very tiring, but we had to do it anyway. Our routine was, in the morning, we had to help my mom with the products she used to sell. In the afternoon, we went to the school, and in the evenings, we had a little time to play with our friends. Yeah. One day, I came back from school. I remember that day very clearly. It was Friday. I got to my mom's little store, and she was crying. I asked her, why are you crying? What happened? Tell me. But she didn't answer. Then she told me, we have to go to the house right now. Come with me. Let's go. I didn't know what was happening. I just told her, okay, let's go. But calm down. Tell me, what's going on here? She didn't answer. She just told me to hurry. So we went running to our house. My mom was crying all the way home. I just wanted to know what was happening, but she didn't tell me anything. When we got to our home, I got it. I understood what had happened. My house, our home, was not there anymore. It had disappeared. There was only rubble where our house was supposed to be. I was shocked. I just stood there without saying a word. It turns out that we had been evicted. They, the leaders, had just destroyed our house. And it was all my father's fault. These leaders had gone to visit my father to his house. There, they asked him about my mother. And he said that she was still living there with him and that that was still her house too because they were still married. My mother collapsed and broke down in tears where our house used to be. I was there consoling her, hugging her, telling her everything was going to be fine. Of course, everything was a mess. At that moment, 
After that, we just moved to my father's house. My mother took revenge by throwing him out of his house. That's what he deserved. He was too mean to my mother and us. But that's another story I'll tell you some other time. The thing is that we haven't always lived in a beautiful house like this. We had to go through difficult times to get this house. To buy this house, we had to work hard and do many things. That was very interesting. I want to know how you came to buy this house. Sure, I can tell you, but that would have to be in the next video. That's all for now. I hope you liked this story. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.